Hello and welcome to another episode of Know Your Bugs. In this episode, we are going to see a very common insect that we all see in day-to-day life, no matter whether that is house or garden or anywhere. There are total 50,000 plus species of spiders across the world except Antarctica. Most of us, I will include me in this, we are really scared or sometimes creepy when we look at the spiders. The reason behind, we never know these are harmful or harmless to humans. Do you know spiders are beneficial, particularly the ones in garden, those are beneficial to your garden in many ways. They help to keep the pests down because they eat lot of pests in the garden. A really healthy ecosystem in the garden will definitely invite lot of pets that too are beneficial pets including spiders. Garden spiders mostly eat flying insects such as aphids, grasshoppers, wasps, bees, flies and even dragonflies. The size doesn't matter because the kind of technique the spiders use to get the prey it's very intelligent. I am going to show some of the encounters that I have captured from our garden. This is a wolf spider and they are armless and indeed provide valuable pest control around the garden. They eat most of the pests in the garden and definitely not harmful to human. Take a look at this encounter. It's a fly that was been captured by the wolf spider and see how it tangles the fly around the web and it takes it to the nest. As I mentioned, they are not harmful to human, but they can still bite and cause uncomfortable symptoms. These spiders are found across the United States, especially in Texas. Orb weavers are really nothing to worry about. They are an outdoor spider and most type of them are found in the yards or in gardens. Odd weavers are mostly large and colorful. They construct large circle webs in the garden and they will wait for the prey to come and tangle so that they can attack them and kill them to eat. These are crab spiders. Crab spiders are equipped with venom which is powerful to kill the prey but not that dangerous to humans. The crab spiders are generally too small and they are harmless to humans. Also, scientists have officially documented the color changing ability of the crab spiders. It can change the color of their body to match the color of the flowers. As you see in this video, it matches the color perfect to the yellow to the flower color and then they hang out and stack their prey easily. Jumping spiders. These spiders, they don't just sit and build web and wait for the prey to come. If they find prey, they stalk it and they jump. They are not only athletic, they are very smart with the poppy seed size brain. They have two sets of high resolution eyes in the front and the six little ones picks the motion in 180 degree. They put all this information to the brain so that they can catch the prey so precise. This last encounter is an exclusive one because I was witnessing what's happening in front of my eyes. This color changing crab spider was attacking the bee. That's why I said earlier no matter what is the size of the victim, the spiders has the ability to attack them and to eat them. So this is an amazing clip that I had, I was able to take in my garden. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you all in the next episode. Take care.